All eyes are on Washington tonight where the prospect of U.S. government shutdown is growing. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And if lawmakers don't pass a bill by 9 p.m. our time tomorrow, many government operations will come to a halt. Speaker Kevin McCarthy is calling votes on a short-term spending bill that would keep the government open until October 31st. But several hardline Republicans in the House are vowing to block it. It's the logical next step. Keep working and make sure, uh, make sure we solve this problem. Those conservative lawmakers oppose a funding bill that gives billions more to Ukraine. My co-anchor Wale Aliou is live at the House of Ukraine in Balboa Park tonight. Wale? Here's the deal, Kimberly. Ukraine is thousands of miles away from Washington, but the country is smack dab in the middle of the shutdown drama right here in the U.S. Speaker Kevin McCarthy is calling for votes on a short-term spending bill that would keep the government open until October 31st. But several hardline Republicans in the House are vowing to block it, saying they oppose giving billions more to Ukraine and instead want more funding for the southern border. McCarthy is now calling on the Senate to drop the Ukraine aid in the stopgap spending bill to avoid a shutdown. Earlier today, I met with Nina Kay here at the House of Ukraine. She told me she's literally ran out of tears watching these last 19 months as her country's at war. How grateful are Ukrainians for the billions of dollars that the U.S. is sending over there? It makes such huge difference. Without help of United States, I'm afraid we would be gone a long time ago because we don't have weapons, we don't have money to fight such a huge country, a war machine. Incredibly grateful for the help. I'm going to have more on that conversation coming up at 6 o'clock. You're going to want to hear her answer when I ask, how does it feel to have the war as a sticking point and forcing a potential government shutdown? If there isn't a deal to keep the government funded by Saturday night, a shutdown would begin and the impact would be felt all across the board. TSA officers will still be required to go to work, but will not get paychecks. During the previous shutdown, some agents didn't go to work and instead try to find other ways to make money. Border control agents and active military members would also be forced to work without pay. That would be devastating to the Hernandez family, who I met with earlier this week. Father Julian is a Navy aviation electrician. He and wife Kira say losing a paycheck would literally mean they may have to move out of state, at least the wife would, just to keep their family afloat. Because we won't be able to afford anything, so I'll have to go and go back to where I came from and stay with my parents so I can try to get a job or, you know, get at least some financial stability with my family. Another impact on families, there could be disruptions on federal aid for both housing and food assistance.